This is Dr. Jan Hendrik Schoen. He is a research scientist. Like any other research scientist, Schoen understands the methods by which scientists gather data, but he also understands how that data is scrutinized. After Schoen has completed his research and collected results from his experiments, he must write up a paper following the specific guidelines given for all scientific data, that is, abstract, introduction, method, results, discussion, and conclusion. Oh dear, Sean. Once his papers are published, other scientists, mainly studying similar projects, read his papers and collaborate. Sean has recently published revolutionary papers in semiconductor physics. The other scientists look pleased with his work. Don't get too excited now, Sean. Sean has gone through many stages of education to get where he is. He attended school, then uni, collected a doctorate in research, then signed on to work for a large company. Which is where he produced these eight papers on semiconductor physics. The company he works for is called Bell Labs. Bell Labs is world renowned. As a company, they invented the transistor, which is vital in everything from laptops to calculators. Speaking of calculators, they also invented those, along with the Unix operating system and both C and C++ programming languages. Some of these inventions are included in their stockpile of seven Nobel Prizes. They also go by the name of AT&T, which may sound more familiar to you. Dr. Shaw is very happy at Bell Labs with his research on organic electrical devices in semiconductor physics. He has written 28 journals about them, all published in Science Magazine. His eight papers in semiconductor physics are so revolutionary, he feels he will be the next world-renowned scientist who will go on to win Bell Labs' eighth Nobel Prize. So far, one year after his paper is published, he has won two national prizes for research, but also a prize for outstanding young inventor. Sean is thrilled, and scientists are overjoyed at his findings. After scientists have read his papers, they begin to use the methods in them to recreate their own versions of the experiments, broadening Sean's work. What's that, scientist? You're having trouble with Sean's method? Well, Sean can help you with that. He can explain more about the thing he's been working on. Are you finding it difficult to recreate Sean's work? This is common for papers to contain small mistakes. Now it is up to Sean to correct his mistakes. Don't look sad, Sean. Some of the greatest scientists in the world have made mistakes. It took Avogadro four attempts and four different papers to find his number. This is why we have this three-stage process. The written paper, peer review. What? Sean, did you make up your results? As <coughs> Sean's results were faked, we must quickly amend the situation. We will have to remove the 28 journals from science. We also can't let Sean apply for more money for more research grants. This will stop him doing research entirely. And Sean's three prizes will be rescinded and Sean will have to pay back all the money that he won from them. Oh, and even though this has nothing to do with his work in Bell Labs, Sean will have his PhD revoked, meaning he will no longer be a doctor. He faked a set of results, degrading the nature of scientific research and making him a c The data gathered from experiments should not be altered in order to gain results that are wanted. It is an important step when becoming a scientist to understand that when data does not appear as expected, it does not necessarily mean that the experiment is wrong. It could mean that something new has been uncovered. Dark matter, nano-encoding DNA, and the microwave are all examples of this. It is those scientists who can interpret these strange results that are the core behind great discoveries. And for people like Sean, well, fuck people like Sean.